Okay, now we've been uh, given vectors for. Uh, we were ori originally told to expect the uh, localizer uh, DME 1 3 with the circle to land to runway 1. Apparently that would have lined us up with a left downwind, but the weather seems to have improved some. In fact, there's a uh, Kiflavik down there over the nose airport, and uh, we're basically on a left a wide left base for runway one, uh, the visual approach, which is what he told us to expect. Number 369 Sierra Tango, expect for descent shortly. He will be number two behind FK50, which is now about your um, nine o'clock. Uh, 10 miles, just uh, descending through uh, 5,000. Okay, we'll expect that. We're looking for the traffic. Uh, November 369 Sierra Tango. And uh, so, here we are on the base, and I'm uh, going to go ahead and slow it down a little bit, uh, get the spacing a little better. I see the traffic on the TCAS there. So, uh, let's go with 25 inches. Uh, we're only uh, 17 minutes from the airport, so, uh, uh, correction, 7 minutes from the airport, so it shouldn't make a difference. There's uh, Iceland down there. They don't call it Iceland uh, because it's icy. They call it Iceland because somebody messed up and got uh, names Greenland and Iceland. Can you? Foxy 246, contact now. Tower Reykjavik, 1180, go away. Tower 80, Foxy 246. Another beautiful country we have. 3690, Tango, descent now to 4000. Down to 4000, 3690, Tango. Get that going. That's the, uh, the light here is very different than it is uh, lower down on the globe. It's a uh, very low angle light for longer periods of time. And the sunsets and the sunrises tend to be uh, very unusual and drop dead gorgeous so hopefully we'll get to see uh, one or two of those be making an early start tomorrow on a way down to wick to meet up with the owner so uh, maybe we'll get to see a sunrise tomorrow morning we'll see <laughs> 